the world, Alexa Russell! Sometimes a champion rises up from obscurity, and they manage to send the world of MMA into a state of total shock. For as much as we love seeing a great fighter living up to their billing and their performance, this sport rarely gets any better than watching a massive underdog overcome the odds. And that's exactly what we got with Alexa Grasso. So for this video, we're going to take a dive into Grasso's story. How she went from underrated prospect to the woman who would defeat one of the sport's longest serving and dominant champions. Born and raised in Mexico, Alexa Grasso's journey to the pinnacle of mixed martial arts is one hell of a story. She took all the expectations and ripped them to shreds, moving from a virtual unknown to a written-off mid-tier contender to the champion of the world. Hailing from a modest background, Grasso's upbringing was marked by the hardships that molded her into the fierce fighter she is today. From an early age, Grasso found solace in sports, seeking an outlet for her boundless energy. And upon turning pro, it was clear she had a knack for this sport. After a successful run in Invicta FC, Alexa Grasso made her much anticipated debut in the Ultimate Fighting Championship as a strawweight contender. Stepping onto the grand stage of the octagon, Grasso brought with her a relentless drive and a burning desire to prove herself against the very best in the world. Grasso's early UFC career showcased her technical prowess and warrior spirit. In her debut bout at UFC Fight Night 98 in November 2016, she Face the tough Heather Joe Clark. From the opening bell, Grasso warmed into the contest, eventually securing a unanimous decision victory in her first UFC outing. However, her first defeat would follow shortly after, as Grasso came up against Felice Herrig. And despite the bout being widely seen as a stepping stone for this unbeaten Mexican prospect, Herrig went out there and outworked Grasso on her way to a victory on the scorecards. Things got tougher still for Grasso next time around when she came in three pounds over the strawweight limit ahead of her bout with Ronda Marcos. This would indeed be the first hiccup on a road that would eventually lead her to 125 pounds. But either way, Alexa won the fight, albeit by split decision, before losing to the insanely talented Tatiana Suarez shortly after. And yeah, like most Tatiana fights, it wasn't exactly close. Remember, if you're loving the content we're putting out, be sure to let us know by leaving a like and comment before subscribing to the channel so you know exactly when our next video drops. By this point, most fans were starting to cool the hype around Grasso. Sure, she was a good fighter who could pull off a big victory from time to time, but her next two bouts, beating a declining Karolina Kavalkiewicz and losing to the former champ Carla Esparza, these were not performances that set the world on fire. During this early phase of her UFC career, Alexa Grasso's name was fading into obscurity. But a move up in weight to her more natural division at flyweight? That would change everything. Sometimes these contenders just need time and the right circumstances to truly achieve their potential greatness. And for Grasso, the right circumstances came when she moved to flyweight. And look, this isn't the usual story of instant success in the UFC. No, Alexa Grasso went 3-3 three and three in her first six fights showing good form in spots but losing to the better fighters in the stacked strawweight division. But at 125, she was a fighter reborn. After going the distance in a winning effort against Ji Yeon Kim in her debut, she then turned things up a notch by beating Macy Barber in her second fight, a fighter with quite a lot of hype who was returning after a long battle with injury. Grasso would surprise us by getting her hand raised, but the greatest shock of them all would come later. A first round submission of the always game Joanne Calderwood would come in her next battle. Out. Moving her divisional record to an impressive 3-0, letting the world know beyond any doubt that she was ready for a bigger test. And this was a big deal. It was Grasso's first fight night headliner, and with Viviane Araujo in front of her, she had an opponent who would serve as her gateway to the top five. This was where we got to see Grasso's technical prowess on the feet come to the fore. Her boxing in particular was a major key to victory, and over the course of the five rounds, she put some distance between herself and her opponent. In the end, it was a clear, unanimous decision victory, and with that, Alexa Grasso was an undeniable top contender at 125 pounds. Her 4-0 record was enough to prove that she had found her footing in this new division. She is a rare example of a fighter who totally defied all of the labels we had placed on her. But as you all know, this path would eventually contain within it a moment that would cast a great shadow over every other victory on Grasso's record. Because
Because let's be real, not many MMA fans at all were picking Alexa to become the first fighter to defeat Valentina Shevchenko. In fact, it's a win that must be included within the greatest upsets of all time within the sport. Valentina Shevchenko was the epitome of dominance in the world of mixed martial arts. Her unparalleled skills coupled with her unwavering determination propelled her to the cusp of greatness, where she came tantalizingly close to achieving GOAT status during her reign at 125 pounds. From the moment she stepped into the octagon, it was clear that Shevchenko was a force to be reckoned with. With lightning-fast strikes and an arsenal of techniques at her disposal, she dispatched her opponents with clinical efficiency. The gap between her and the rest of the division seemed insurmountable. She was a master of the craft on the feet, and as time went on, her skills on the mat rapidly started to catch up. Fight after fight, Shevchenko left a trail of defeated opponents in her wake. Her victories were not merely wins, they were displays of sheer brilliance and tactical superiority. Each time she stepped into the octagon, the world watched in awe as she dismantled her adversaries with precision and grace. Fight number five in Alexa Grasso's win streak wasn't even seen as a particularly huge bout within Shevchenko's title reign. Sure, Grasso had improved greatly over the years, but we were not at all prepared for what was about to happen. Alexa Grasso's victory over Valentina Shevchenko by fourth round submission will forever be etched in the annals of mixed martial arts history. In a breathtaking display of skill and determination, Grasso showcased her exceptional cardio, formidable striking, and an uncanny ability to decipher the intentions of the reigning champion. This monumental win not only solidified Grasso's status as a true force to be reckoned with, but also served as a resounding triumph for Mexico and the realm of Mexican MMA, a nation reveling in its burgeoning dominance within the sport. Grasso went out there and showed no fear in the face of a true pound-for-pound all-time great. And as the fight progressed, it was her who was showing no signs of tiredness. It was her who was making Valentina look a little predictable. From the opening bell, it was evident that Grasso had meticulously prepared for this defining moment. Her Conditioning was nothing short of extraordinary, allowing her to maintain an unrelenting pace throughout the grueling contest. She demonstrated remarkable composure and poise, refusing to be overwhelmed by the renowned skills of her opponent. Grasso's ability to sustain her energy levels, even as the championship rounds loomed, served as a testament to her unwavering dedication and the exceptional cardio training that had propelled her to this historic victory. Grasso's striking prowess likely shocked a lot of people. Again, we knew she was good, but we also knew that Shevchenko was supposedly better. The Mexican fighter expertly utilized her range, consistently finding her mark and leaving the champ reeling. Shevchenko, renowned for her striking prowess, was left visibly perplexed by Grasso's ability to not only withstand her onslaught, but to return fire with remarkable accuracy and power. This victory was not merely a personal triumph for Grasso, it was a momentous occasion for Mexican MMA as a whole, with Brandon Moreno capturing the flyweight championship and Yair Rodriguez looking at his first chance at seizing featherweight gold, Grasso's added to this ongoing trend of Mexican excellence. It stood as yet another instance of Mexico solidifying its place as a powerhouse within the realm of mixed martial arts and sending shockwaves throughout the sport. As the echoes of the final bell reverberated through the arena, a jubilant Grasso stood victorious, her hand raised in triumph. She had conquered one of the greatest of all time, leaving an indelible mark on the sport's history. And in doing so, Alexa Grasso had etched her name into the hallowed halls of Mexican combat sports history, forever serving as an inspiration to aspiring fighters and a symbol of the nation's unwavering spirit and relentless pursuit of greatness. Whether she can repeat the feat or not is anyone's guess. But if she can, expect some major progress towards Grasso becoming a huge star for the company. Can you imagine how stacked they could make a massive pay-per-view card in Mexico? Well, it's pretty fair to say that Alexa Grasso's rise from prospect to world champion has been a special story. Only time will tell if she can write another chapter. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and a comment before hitting the subscribe button so you don't miss a single upload. As always, thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.